many saw this question but let's do it together okay welcome this is jj online math class we are asked to solve for the value of x and for the value of y okay um first let's recall the law of exponents or the law of indices that states that square root of x is equal to x raised to the power of half okay so let's analyze this in this form. So if we should write this in this form, that means we will write this as 2 raised to the power of half, right? Then raised to the power of root x minus 2 raised to the power of half raised to the power of root y is equal to 28. All right. Now let's recall another law of exponents that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn okay so that is m times n to give us mn that means we can write this as 2 raised to the power of half times root x is what root x over 2 minus 2 raised to the power of root y divided by 2 is equal to 28 Okay, now we have root x over 2, root y over 2. Let's call it something to simplify the equation, okay? So let's root x divided by 2 be equal to a, okay? And root y divided by 2 be equal to b. So if we should write, if we should make this kind of statement, that means that we cannot rewrite this as what? We cannot rewrite this as... 2 raised to the power of root x over 2 is a minus 2 raised to the power of root y over 2 is b is equal to 28. Okay. Because we have a positive number here, because we have a positive number here, that simply means that a is greater than b, right? Simply means that a is greater than b. That means we can say let a be equal to b plus what? Um, let's say m, okay, b plus m. All right, so we can now rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of b plus m, all right, minus 2 raised to the power of b is equal to 28. So according to um, the law of exponents, a raised to the power of x plus y is same thing as a raised to the power of x multiplied by a raised to the power of y, okay? So we are going to relate this to what we have here. And if we do that, then we'll write this as 2 to the power of b multiplied by 2 to the power of m, all right, minus 2 to the power of b is equal to 28. Okay, now let's factorize 2 to the power of b. If we do that, then this side will remain 2 to the power of m minus this divided by this will give us 1, okay, minus 1 is equal to 28. So we have 2 to the power of b multiplied by 2 to the power of m minus 1 to be equal to 28. Now let's factorize 28 to get 2 to the power of something multiplied by what? An odd number. So we are going to have 2 divide this, we have 14. 2 divide this, we have 7. So you can see that we have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by what? An odd number. Because this is even minus 1 will give us odd. And this is 2 to the power of something. So that means we can write 2 to the power of b multiplied by 2 to the power of m minus 1 is equal to... So this 28, we'll now write it as what? 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 7. Okay? So this is 2 to the power of 2 and this is odd number. So by comparison, now you can see that this is equal to this, right? 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of 2. All right, and 2m minus 1, 2 raised to the power of m minus 1 is equal to 7. Okay, now from here, you can see that the base are equal. Therefore, the powers are equal as well. So we'll write that b is equal to 2. So for here, let's transfer this minus 1 to the other side of the equation. If we do that, we have 2 to the power of m is equal to 7 plus one okay now let's continue so we have we have gotten b to be equal to two so this is where we are 
2 to the power of m is equal to 7 plus 1 will give us 8. So we can write that 2 to the power of m is equal to 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So we can say that our m is equal to 3. All right. So we have gotten b to be equal to 2 and m to be equal to 3. Now recall that our a is equal to b plus m, right? So, but... A is equal to B plus M, right? That means our A is equal to, our B is 2, right? 2 plus, and our M is 3, 3. So it means that A is equal to 5. Recall that we are not looking for the value of A, rather we are looking for the value of X and Y. Okay, so let's continue. Now we have the value of our a to be equal to 5 and the value of our b to be equal to 2. But recall, recall that what? a is equal to root x over 2. a is equal to root x over 2. So let's write a is equal to root x over 2. So we can now write that since a is equal to 5, we are going to replace this a with 5. So we write that 5 is equal to root x over 2. Please don't forget to subscribe and to on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay? Alright, so let's do a cross multiplication. If we cross multiply, we have that root x is equal to what? 10. Okay, so we are just going to pick the most important ones here. That b is equal to 2 b is equal to 2 and a is equal to 5. Okay, I can clean every other thing. Alright, see where we stopped? That root x is equal to 10, right? Now, to get the value of x, we are going to square both sides of this equation. And when we do that, we have that x is equal to 100. Okay, so we have found the value of x. Then similarly, similarly, recall that b is equal to root y over 2. b is equal to root y divided by 2. And also recall that we got the value of b to be equal to 2. We got it to be 2. So we have that 2 is equal to root y over 2. Then when we cross multiply, we have that root y is equal to 2 times 2 which will give us 4. So to get the value of y, let's square both sides of this equation. So we have that y is equal to 16. All right, it's time to prove. Now let's check. Let's check. So we got our x to be 100 and our y to be 16. So we have square root of 2 raised to the square root of our x is 100, right? Okay. Minus square root of 2 raised to the square root of our y is 16 is equal to 28. Okay, so we have square root of 2 raised to the power of 10, right? Minus square root of 2 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 28. Now, this same thing as 2 raised to the power of half multiplied by 10 minus 2 raised to the power of half multiplied by 4 is equal to 28. Okay, so we have this, we divide this, we have 2 to the power of 5, minus this, we divide this, we have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 28. All right, so we have 2 to the power of 5 is what? 32, minus 2 to the power of 4 is 4, is equal to 28. Sorry, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So we have 32 minus 4 is 28 is equal to 28. So that means that we are correct. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.